Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to appreciate you. I just did this for you saw this flowery thing uh, for Mother's Week. Uh, mothers, I still celebrate mothers. I still celebrate my wife, uh, our daughter, our wife Grace, and our daughter Queen Nina, and every my mother, my mother in love, and everyone who has contributed one way or the other to us as long as you're on hat so uh sorry this morning we cannot take it for granted i know you've been waiting and now i'm here uh well uh, obviously my phone is like telling me well i need a change so my phone is telling me i need a change so i just have to manage it for some time now before i actually change it so thank you very much for bearing all the internet problems i know it's becoming much in nigeria it's becoming hard and uh, but we thank god because my community also where you are living also matters uh, and i thank god because i've been able to conquer uh, it gradually okay i'm conquering it gradually not totally okay so by the grace of god we're going straight to some things and i told us this morning i will tell you some things i'll tell you about cellular Tomorrow I'm going to show you a film and good news, good news. Shola Ade Aga. We're going to be having Shola Ade Aga Friday and Saturday by the grace of God. Especially on Friday night and um, especially on Friday night on this topic and especially on Saturday night on the following topic we have been talking about. Wow, wow, that's a big, big blow uh, on that. I pray everything works fine for us here in Nigeria. So that we can connect together okay now let me first of all start with cellular because people said so many things and i look at it uh video film motion picture movies you know people talk about so much of these things and all that even in the in, in the beginning 9.5 mm motion picture film uh was done but let me go straight to the natural uh cellulose uh, neutron cellulose. Well, I, I went to Wikipedia for you and I see cellulose are the class of compounds created from the neutral cellulose and camphor, camphor, okay, with added dyes and other agents. That's cellulose. Generally, consider the first thermoplastic, thermoplastic, uh, thermoplastic, it was created as Pakasin, P A R P A R K E I S N, P A R K E S I N E. Okay, um, a thermoplastic, um, uh, say thermoplastic, uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 the kind of, um, plastic material, plastic material, sorry about that. Plastic material, a polymer uh, that becomes pileable or moldable above the specific temperature and then solidifies upon cooling. So that is the thermoplastic. Okay, so that this was done in Pakistan in 1856. 1856. Wow, my name is Paul, a shukbo for Oriade. If this is your first time of coming, this is a special drama film school online. Oh, don't forget to, to like us, comment, share the video, and let us know how you're feeling. Let us know your comment, and those are the things. And uh, the class has decided that once you're in class, write something, write your name or your identity your own on the board. See this comment as your writing paper. See it as a writing paper. You may forget the point. You can also write on the paper. Write on the wall and let us see. Okay? Now, and as a salonite, in uh, it was created as Pakistan. Then the following time as a salonite in 1869, before being registered as cellulite in 1870. Cellulite is easily molded and shaped, and it was first widely used as ivory uh, replacement. Now, the main use was in in movie. The main use was in movie and photography film industries which use only cellular film stock only what film stock the film has come cellular film stock prior to the adoption of an acetate uh acetate a c e t a t e uh saf safety film in the 1950s cellular is highly flammable difficult and expensive to produce 
are no longer widely used it is most commonly used today uh and the table tennis ball instrumental lead and all that those are the making of that do we get it now so when people talk about selling 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 uh that is the selling lead okay by the time you now say selling lead theme okay okay selling lead theme okay theme you now see what i'm talking about the cellular film, not the film that was produced in 2000 and, uh, uh, 2013 now. No, I'm not talking about cellular film that was produced. It's a film called cellular film. Okay? Now, if you look at it very well, you will discover that a whole lot of things is just like they're talking about uh, strips. You go, you're talking about cellular, uh, you're talking about uh, uh, a glass plate. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know where it is again. I would have shown you. Uh, I would have shown you, honestly. Uh, it would have been nice showing you because cellular and photography film industry uh, was a very very good thing and um, uh, is a plate portable photographic work it consists of strip s t s t r i p of celluloid so it goes to which is treated with a uh, sensitized um, coating the same is used as on the plate so that's that's the way it's being used and all that uh, you know, like uh, Stephen uh, Stephen will say, stone specific uh, citation needed the most expensive habit of the world is cellular, not urine. I need a very few years' time. You know, when he was talking about talking about the the image being put in the cellular film, which is the in the projection of traditional cellular film, uh, traditional cellular film. And then when you say film stock, that's the right way. Uh, another word for heat film stock, film stock for use on cellular roll film. Okay, which began in 1890, 1896. His man's first motion, uh, his man, uh, first motion picture film. Can you see now? Motion film, motion picture film. Do you see all those semantic now? Here, yeah. this morning I'm going to trash that one. I'm going to trash it, and tomorrow I'm going to play you, uh, I'm going to play you some documentary. I think a, a documentary and all that. So, that's at the first, at the first film was the same. The film was the same at first. Film was the same, you know. You don't have to look at some things. So, when they say film stock, you now look at it inside it. And now, begin. so the film stock is an analog, like I told you, you 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 load it gradually, okay? You load it gradually, and it's an, it's, it's an analog medium. How do I put that? Do I do it? Okay, I will show you, but you can just type um, film strip, okay? You will see it, okay? Okay, now. If I, if I get to my maybe maybe so but I don't want to destroy myself so at that time this the film stock is an analog medium that has to be used for recording motion pictures or animation so it's a trip it's a strip of sheet of transparent plastic film coated on one side with a gelatin gelatin emulsion uh, containing microscopically small light sensitive silver hell light uh, a light a h h a l i d e okay uh crystals so the the, the size and other um uh characteristics of the crystal determine the sensitivity contrast and resolution of the film so the motion will generally darken it left exposed to light but the process is too slow and incomplete to be any practical use so at uh, that time it was like you know, it looks like x-ray if you've seen an x-ray thing you will see whatever you have taken there you can look at it like this and you begin to see the picture you have taken even for me you can know which one is good which one is not good you know uh because before that time that was standardized you look at um, uh, 1888 and 1899 a lot of things were done 1900 and it was the standard picture films those are the things that were really, really uh, at that time. You know, I gave you the background. Uh, you see, Barbara Paul is always like a love to go to history a bit because the early motion picture experiments in the, in the 1880s were uh, performed using a fragile paper roll film, uh, which with which it was difficult to view a single continuously moving image without a complex apparat apparatus. So the first transparent and flexible film based material was cellulite. You get it that was cellulite, which was discovered and refined for photographic, uh, used by John Cabot, Cabot, Anibal Godwin, John Cabot, Cabot, C A R B U T T, okay, Anibal H A N N I B A uh, B A L, Go Goodwin, G O O D 
w one i w i n sorry and george eastman but many times people look at it and they gave george eastman and uh, eastman kodak that's the name the kodak film kodak film kodak film so that's the beginning eastman kodak uh made uh eastman kodak actually made uh cellular film commercially available in 1889 he was the one who is the is the founder of kodak kodak film that's what you know another people lock up i say well kodak if it's not kodak they're not going to the east um that's why it's called the eastman kodak company is an american uh, technology company that produces imaging products uh this historic basis on photography the company is headquarters at Rochester, new york city uh new york and is um, is incorporated in new jersey kodak provide packaging functioning printing graphic uh, communication etc okay i want to go to that that's that's that kodak and all that so the the, the thomas Henry blair which i've already mentioned one of the videos in 1891 was the first competitor so when he started he was the first competitor to uh, to say let me see what i can do the stock has um, uh, had a a frosted uh, a, a frosted base to facilitate easier viewing by transmitting light okay emotions uh emotions were autochromatic uh, autochromatic okay autochromatic by november 1891 william dixon at edison's laboratory was using blair stock for kinestopic experience uh, experiment can you imagine that that's lovely okay <laughs> bless company supply film to edison for five years between 1892 and 1893 um this man experienced problem with production because of patent lawsuit in 1893. Blair left his American uh, American company and established another in Britain. This man supplied same fee. And you know that discover what happened. You know, Blair new company supply European film making powders. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. So he was the one that took it to Britain, and the European filmmaker they, they would turn it back to the uh, to this, uh, to, Thomas Blair or Thomas Henry Blair, uh, T H B Blair. Okay. So, and at that time, this new company got to go and start, uh, including Bert Ecker, Akers, Robert Pearl, George Abbas Smith, Charles Urban, and the Lumen Brothers. The Lumen Brothers. You remember? A lot of people knew. All those people, they even they load the Lumber uh, brothers more than the rest of the people I've mentioned. By 1896, the new movie projector required a fully transparent film base that Blair's American operation could not supply. His man shortly thereafter bought the company out and became the leading supplier of film stock. So, Lewis, uh, the Lewis Mirror worked with Victor Panton to adopt the Lure Blue label, Etiquette Blue. Uh, and the um, photography plate emotion for use on cellular roll film, which began in early 1896. His man's first motion picture film stock was offered in 1889. At first, the film was the same as photography film. By 1916, separate, which is called semi-type, semi-type, C I N, semi-type, or sometimes the beginning even kindly, they call it like kindly, okay, where were offered from 1895 eastman supplied their motion picture film roll in rows of 65 sheets uh, feet okay uh but blair's row were 75 feet if longer lengths were needed the other exposed negative curve will be cemented in a dark room or sometimes they cut it off you know they cut it in nigeria they cut it and they put it back to continue but it was likely understandable or undesirable or undesirable by most narrative filmmakers the maker of actually actuality films were much more eager to undertake this method however in order to actually actually film is a non-fiction uh film genre that like the documentary film use uh, footage of real events and things yet unlike the uh unlike the documentary is not structured into a larger argument pictures and and so on do you understand so uh, much of that one were much more eager to undertake this method. However, in order to depict longer actions, a greater cemented row as long as on 1,000 feet. America, uh, most token and biography, was the first known company to use this, and the Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Shaky, uh, uh, fight on November 9, 1989. Okay, so I will give you the 
I will give you the link so that you can read the rest there. Okay, I will give you the link so that you can read the rest there. It's it's, it's a very very wonderful, uh, wonderful thing really. Do you get it now? So I went to that uh, uh, cellular to really see all those things. I it, it happened, and now you know it was always. In, in Nigeria for people to be using it and uh, well I'm not the one that started it but I'm number one that was having confidence in need to shoot and edit on on on, on the uh, let me say I'm, let, let me don't let me so certain like that but let me put it this way I I I, I may probably be the number one I may probably be the number one uh, uh, number one person who shot on uh, on a smart on a smartphone Samsung Galaxy, precisely, uh, uh, S6 or so, uh, uh, who shot on it and then uh, also take took it to the phone and uh, took it to the laptop to edit. Took it to the laptop and edit. So I wasn't the editor really. So so don't get it wrong. So I wasn't the editor, but I took it to the laptop to edit and it was fine. Since that time. I was also in drama world, in drama ministry, in Nigeria. Uh, we were also not me. Now it's a teamwork. Uh, we were also the first person to edit, shoot with the movie, uh, shoot with the smartphone, and edit on this on, on the smartphone. Also, uh, was privileged to put the DSLR footage on phone. Okay. So, that is the editor, Olufemi Abraham, put the rushes. I'm, I'm doing history now. Put the rushes of our shots, uh, our short movie on the uh, uh, DSLR footage on phone, and it was compatible. And that was the beginning. So, right now, whether you shoot on DSLR, whether you shoot on the phone, you can use phone to edit it, but not every phone. You know when people talk about phone, they just think that oh we are going down the drain. No, you are not going to use any just any phone. It has to be higher quality. If it's not full HD, forget about it. That's the least you can use for phone. So when people are talking about history, you know patent. We don't do patent here. Uh, you know sometimes we do, but you know people. Okay, to make sure that this broadcast does not die. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, definitely prayers. Okay, maybe, maybe now if somebody doesn't want to support financially, why not? How <laughs> we accept? Okay, but many people have been wondering. Oh, bro, Paul, tell us how you are doing it. Well, it has been my family, myself and my wife, uh, paying attention to a lot of things and the need to support from the ministry. Okay, so that is one. Uh, I've given you. I will also because I'm still going to the this movie, film, motion picture, cinema. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a very very big thing. You need to see it. It's a very very challenging thing. And it's like, um, you know, you have to look at when there's a difference between the movie, the film, the video, the picture, moving picture, cinema. Theater is very easy because if you say theater now, everybody understand I can, I can trash that one easily. Uh, you know, I can trash that one easily. And um, I, I, I see a lot of things. Why do we shoot on it? Why, what are the meaning? Why, why the meaning of all these uh, sensitive, sensitive words? Uh, that people have failed to really uh, explain in the way it is, uh, it is and all that. For independent for independent filmmakers, uh, they believe that. Oh, let me just shoot on digital video. But I want to tell you, 
some people say, says, maybe when you see the video tomorrow, uh, some people still believe that um, some filmmakers, some directors, still believe that no, they, don't, they cannot come down to that level. Though some some of them are backwards, some of them don't care. Some of them, don't, I just want to remain this the like die picture element. Uh, I want to get my picture element. I want to make sure that everything I'm doing is superb, is fantastic, is powerful. You know, when they say that, you, I understand. You know, sometimes the imagery, uh, the imagery uh, becomes something very very important for all of them to really really get and all that. So that's that's just awesome. That's just awesome. So um we we have a very very unique thing about this thing today uh we have very very unique thing about this thing today and uh i believe you are getting something if you have any question please go ahead and ask me the question feel free to ask the question uh don't hesitate to ask the question just ask your question okay and drop your question so uh the video uh, like i said i want to drop the 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 link of the one i'm just uh talking about so that i won't forget because one thing about it is that um, once you leave once you leave the assignment like that you have other assignments and by the way by the grace of god we are celebrating our 20th anniversary we are marking it anyway we are marking it uh, that's the way i put it our next year we'll be celebrating it god helping us uh god helping us and all that so uh references i put the reference here uh, for the celluloid so that's it do you get it have you gotten it have you seen it okay let me know if you have seen it give me a thumb up if you have seen it it should have dropped by now okay it should have dropped by now okay good 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 so let's go ahead and share please go ahead and share let's share and all that let's share let's share so you, you see a very wonderful power, uh, a kind of uh, atmosphere that people need to concentrate on themselves. People need to understand on themselves. People need to embrace on themselves. And people need to follow by themselves. Okay? By themselves. So you, you, you get that now. So when I drop it, just let me know. Uh, you are getting it. Okay. Now let's go to something again about this issue of this argument uh, like i told you i said i never knew went through this kind of thing so tough argument until i begin to do my research and i discovered that uh, it was it, it became a game to some people because uh some people are looking at something that is most in-depth uh informative and i told myself this morning when i was also doing the research as early uh that day of this today i was like paul you just have to look at some things uh, you just have to get some details and you have to get something out for this so that people can also get a clarification of it and they can get it very well in a very simple way because some people what what is called in uk is even what is called in america you know they begin to you now see when the beginning was started in america and you know america is kind of starting no, we started this thing oh because the painter drew okay somebody take it to britain and oh it's me oh it is no you understand but you know, these are insightful uh, information, kind of a kind of an excellent way to support a production work we are doing. You know, you be able to say, okay, if you're able to say film, you have the understanding of the film in the back of your mind. Because that's what was the time I said nobody's doing a, a film in Nigeria, and somebody's looking at me, oh, bro, what do you mean? How do you mean we are doing film? That's our film. Our film is out. And I say it's just about matter of semantic. It's a video film you're doing. It's a video production you're doing. And those are the things that people look at and all that and they look at it because when you when you do such things you see uh, a whole lot of transformation and these are film skills these are the things you need to learn like i said yesterday you need to learn why do the cons and pros of shooting all those things and then uh, you, you yourself will be very very happy honestly you'll be very very happy you'll be delighted uh, about it you'll be delighted about what it is to really have it and because a lot of people have gone to school to earn certification and they get a lot of things and i look at it and i say ah, you these people well let me just keep quiet because sometimes you 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 need to realize what people are really arguing on when you realize what people are really arguing on you just look at them and say okay okay okay, okay. you know and that 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 will tell you a lot of things in in, in the world of production okay now let me go to another point here Another thing is that video, when you are doing video, you will need uh, 
something to record on you will need something to record on okay you will need something to record on something you must record on something okay but both are to record on but there's one that you can remove from the camera there is another one you can also remove from camera but the one you cannot watch instantly one you cannot watch what instantly the rest you can watch instantly almost instantly once you have the device to to have it you will watch it instantly now look at the why shoot uh video why people are shooting on video video is spread is spreading quickly because like i said you can do that and that's the uh video is 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 has become the industry in fact yesterday as of yesterday i was told that the the hollywood is moving on gradually to atlanta georgia because majority of films are not being done in that Atlanta georgia is not being done there and all that so now gradually things are moving these are becoming the industry standard, okay? The video is now becoming the video standard, but not leaving the mind, for that's my perspective, that's my opinion. Not leaving the mind, the foundation, the fundamental things of the, of the, of the, of the, of the film, you understand? So, of the film. So, the way it has begun, it already begun. So, the main reason is, why do it because of the workflow, it's easier, it's faster, the price is cheaper, okay? And when I say cheaper, I've told you, it's relative. Then reproductibility, you can quickly reproduce it fast, fast. Let me break it down. Let me do that. When you say workflow, you know you always have something. In film production, before you can shoot anything, you have to. Somebody has to load. Uh, what do you have to do? Okay, these are the things that we want to do. And then after the shooting, then it must be developed, must be processed, take travel out or digitalize later if you like. Turn to digital file into computer for people. Film is digitalized is uh, because most editors are done uh, in computers right now using people like uh, the programs like Avid, uh, Final Cut Pro. I don't be, be, it depends on whatever people like to use. If you are shooting, you want to shoot a uh, video now, you can skip all these things. You just uh, you need to record straight. Sorry, you need to record straight uh, your SD card or hard drive straight okay you can return straight to those things then if it is then unloaded or uploaded uh into the computer and you or separate our drive or you separate i drive and then you you are good to go the footage does not need to be processed it doesn't watch it you can watch it on the set within the second after taking it that's just the beauty of it i told you that the price like i told you shooting film is expensive uh it's expensive still expensive that's the truth Despite that the, the highest of their film cannot shoot uh, 4K, the cellular uh, the cellular uh, film cannot shoot 4K. But this that the uh, the highest you can do is like 2K or there about. But <laughs> forget, you know. But that's why they begin to put it and all that. Look at this secret. Let me tell you this secret. A 400 foot roll of 16 mm, uh, 16 mm stock co cost about 100. 400 feet of 16 mm is enough for 11 minutes of footage. So 400 feet, that cost hundred dollars to just be for 11 minutes, 11 minutes of footage. That means when shooting the 60 mm, you will spend uh, for each 11 minutes of your of your roll of your feed. Uh, that means you're gonna spend like um, for 60 minutes, let's say on average, for 60 minutes you're gonna spend 666, no, 660 dollars. But a future film is shot on 35, okay? And they shoot more than just two hours of footage. So with digital filmmaking, the, the preferred media is SD or whatever or CF card, whatever card is available, which is which in theory can be used endlessly over and over in different projects. You can finish and keep it to one hard drive and all that. Then, like I've explained that to you, that the last one, which is productivity and uh, produce um, reproducibility which is the reproducibility uh, video is convenient because any file you put a video video is digital it can be very very cheaper inexpensive to copy over and over without any loss of quality whatsoever now let's go to the film historia insight a film historia insight say this thing say for those born in the previous century you probably remember vhs tapes which i've showed you okay or compact uh cassette okay compact cassettes a while back, those two media formats were the analog standard for video and audio, respectively. So they merged it together, or like film, they had to separate the audio alone and all that. Now, reproducing them will generate a copy of less quality, a problem that does not affect digital files because exact duplication is possible. So they now see that, oh, so 
these are the things that make people to say okay ah i don't want to do this so why do i do this why do i do that so the question of the art is that why should film let's go to why should film now for century for the first century of photography and movie making everything was shot on film so a cellular material whose, whose light sensitive surface uh could record lasting images and the film was good because it was only option at that time nobody's going anywhere and the first century is a fantastic job of recording the masterpiece till today like gone with the wind citizen kate and the godfather now why shoot film film is still preferred by most filmmakers, uh, filmmakers like i told you uh, because of its tradition uh, and the technology they understand that's what they have been taught all their life 50 years 60 years but thank god for dr rogers who has been really really mastermind between the two and i give it to him i give it to him nothing i give it to you top up for you because you have been able to mingle you'll be able to mingle with you the older generation the older generation and the new generation you'll be able to mix it together and get the result for the kingdom i celebrate you that's the god of moses entertainment you can search that nothing rodriguez rodriguez okay nothing n-o-r n-o-r-t-o-n nothing rodriguez rodriguez not rodriguez okay let's go rodriguez let me go then i said why shoot it on that because of the depth of field there are two big advantages of, of using film number one depth of field and broad expensive latitude broad of use are what broad expe exposure latitude because when it's blown we cannot compromise i've told you that one i'm just trying to give you something i'll give you the film tomorrow uh after this, I will just give you one more point, then I will close for today, okay? And I want to appreciate those people that really shared and watched the video yesterday. That that encourages me when I see people have watched, uh, when I see people have watched some things, and I'm so much, uh, I'm so much excited, I'm so much happy, I'm so much glad because I could see people watching and all that. Hey, round of applause. That is it. So the depth of field. When shooting at 5 mm, shallow, shallower depth of field, not just shallow depth of field now, shallower depth of field is a given. It is a given. So this means that creating a any frame that has soft focus or blurry is easier. You can rack the focus easily. And the filmmaker <laughs> love this to direct their audience attention. And then the next one is the exposure latitude. Uh, Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia uh, defines exposure latitude as the, the extent to which a light sensitive look at this light now look at it now do you see it do you see that this is now if i put it off whatever the video you still see it because i see i have one light here okay now you still see it's a bit um it's a bit okay it's not it's not that bad because the daytime if it will be nighttime you will see a lot of grains but now immediately i put it on wow okay this is not still the best light, okay? But this is this time. So it now says to the extent of which light sensitive material can be overexposed or underexposed and still achieve an acceptable result. That is what Wikipedia call it. Exposure latitude. Okay. And if you see this thing, you discover to remember the film as a broader exposure latitude than video. And that is it because of the end product. That's why they keep on increasing uh from a uh, from a smaller version, uh, ATML, uh, whatever, uh, I8, from I8, video I8, uh, they move on to these, uh, from the VHS to Super VHS, from Super VHS to High 8 I think I will have to go for that to see before I finish this particular topic for you. I have to give you the breakdown of how they all started or what they are in the world of video so that you can also, cellular the cellular at that time. <laughs> it's, it's just sit down there, okay? Now, because people use the name of the brand of the camera to think, ah, have you shot on red? No, 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 don't get it wrong, okay? It's okay. So, uh, uh, I'm so excited about that anyway. Basically, when you see some things on there, this means the underexposed and overexposed area are rendered better on film than on digital media. Like if it's, if it's on video now, uh, if it's the color is just light too light and go completely black, I think we still show details. <laughs> what do you think of the vibe? Suppose you just, you, you can cut it down. Car, car. Ah, this is good anyway. But that does not make it uh, 
Yeah, is that, is that available? And I was telling myself, I, well, I remember that year I said, by the grace of God, I'm going to shoot my female cell lord. Well, it is possible, I tell you. Because it's a dream. And I want it to come to pass. Even if just to shoot it and direct it, and okay, this is just a short film or a long film, don't sell it lord. I believe God. <laughs> I believe God. I don't want to be my own pick in my thinking. Okay? So this is important because so the photographer play with lights. For faith, they enjoy it. Not this, all this like general lighting and all that. So a broader exposure latitude medium offer them more opportunity. It's like a painter who has a several paint tube with all the colors of the rainbow. That's the that's the color of the rainbow. That's fame. Okay, when you see the rainbow, that's the color of fame. Okay, and opposed to another painter who's having primary colors. You know, video is always primary colors, but uh, for fame, it's it's it, 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 it's for rainbow colors. Rainbow, colors of the rainbow, you know, colors of the rainbow and the, you know, it's, it's related to the technology is currently advanced and the gap is decreasing, I'm telling you, the gas is really decreasing. Let's go for the three professor's insight as I close this morning. By the way, human eye is still the best camera we have to access to, we have access to. By the way, human eye is still the best camera we have access to, it can see and even broader range of exposure than film. That is why scenes might seem overlit to eye, but still look dark to the camera. Wow, that's a very, very good thing. Uh, this money and all that. I want to appreciate all of you uh, for wonderful thing. Uh, let me also give you the reference of to this as I close this money. Let me also give you the reference to this as I close this money. Okay, so that you can also read part of it. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Uh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Sorry, this morning I couldn't go do to so far, but it's okay. Monday through Friday is 9 30 a.m. Nigeria time. Saturday and Sunday is uh, 9 30 p.m. respectively. Uh, by the grace of God, I'll be going to my page now to do something now on my profile page. To do something thank you very much god bless you have a lovely day don't forget whatever god has asked you to do believe dream and do very well and it's going to be great shalom